She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I only run over that. These are like, this is like an Arab breakfast, but it's like my morning song. <laughs> so I have another announcement. A lot of you are not going to understand what I'm about to say or where I'm coming from. And I know people think I'm trolling and I'm doing this for views. So I'm going to try to explain the best I can to make you kind of understand. And some of you just won't. How I feel right now is like I'm in a tug of war, okay? So like Canada, Kuwait, West, East, East, West, West, East, East, West. When I'm in Canada, I miss my family here. And when I'm here, I obviously miss my family there. I get moments where I just want to go back to being a mess because changing is a lot harder. I want to go back to just sitting on a reclining couch and being buzzed out of my mind and just Mario beating. But then I really think about it because you know I'm impulsive. And I think, do I really want that? Instead of thinking I'm setting up a whole new life alone on my own. And how can I leave my family here? Like, how can I leave? I never said the healthcare was cheaper here. I always don't remember saying that, which doesn't make sense because the healthcare in Canada is covered, you know, completely. They tax the crap out of you. I have free health care. I went to a clinic here. You know what it cost me for medication and treatment? Several forms of treatment? Three dollars. Also, my medications are a lot cheaper here, actually. By half price. I have no interest in going back there. The feelings I have there compared to here? No. I'm not, I don't like Canada. I don't have to. You're allowed to like Canada all you want. But I don't. How do I want to utilize the system, Pepperminty? Don't even live there. So try again. What, having a right to healthcare? That's me wanting to utilize the system? Anywhere you live in the world, you have a right to healthcare. Give me a break. And guess what? I'm never going back to Canada. I don't want to even go there. But I remember how hard it is. It's almost impossible to get a family physician. Anytime I would go to the clinic, if you don't go line up at 8 a.m., the clinic fills up very quickly. It's universal, right? So there's going to be long wait times. No matter where I am, I have to get a grip on a lot of things that have nothing to do with anyone else but me. I'm just very torn. I'm sorry that I changed my mind so many times and just confused people. I get my family's hopes up because of course they would prefer to have me close. But they also just want me to make my own decisions to be happy. What I'm down about right now, honestly, why I seem down is because of my indecisiveness. And it would be fine if it just affected me, but it affects other people around me that I love. So I'm going to stick it out here. Even in Canada, I would isolate a lot. There's a lot of me problems I have to work on no matter what country I'm in. And so I assured me that don't worry about money for healthcare because I feel like a burden. It's like, don't worry about that. If you need tests, we'll get them. Like, don't worry. I feel like if I went back to Canada, I'd have to be burdened with like a legal battle against someone who literally stalks me. So that's a small factor that I would have to deal with. And I, I just don't want to be in the same country as those people either. So beyond that, those are my reasons. I feel like Foodie Beauty is truly gone. I think people who say that I'm bigger here don't remember the days when I first moved into the villa. I was over 400 pounds, so, so I mean, so I was insisting I don't have to worry about, you know, the monetary side of the healthcare, so I'll just trust, trust in him on that, and uh, I guess that takes away a big stress, and um, I mean, I, like, the healthcare I've utilized so far hasn't been pricey, but the point is, in Canada, everything is just free, like, because it's covered, right, but there's long wait times, there's always a pro and a con to everything, so... So no matter where I am, and I have to ultimately decide where I'm most happy, happiest with my new mindset, my new faith in God. As a Muslim, I just feel more comfortable being here for a lot of reasons. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm done. Well, hello there. You want to wish somebody a very happy Easter? Well, I can do it for you with a cameo. Cameos make very special personalized gifts for others. And with Easter coming up, my Christian friends, what better way to celebrate than with a cameo? Makes a perfect gift. And I do other things as well. Anything you want. <laughs>
Ramadan, Ramadan. Yes, babe, I'm excited for Ramadan. Second Ramadan with you. Brianna performed and tw she twerked. Oh my gosh. You know what? And I heard like they were, I don't know. I don't, I have like my opinions on like billion, super billionaires and like, if you put all of the billion, even just a couple billionaires together, they could l like legit solve all of the, like all of the world's monetary problems. I swear. <laughs> like $117 billion to me is like, hot on. I don't know. It is their money. It's not their responsibility to pay for the world's problems. But Danielle, to me, it's still... It's, it's unethical to hoard that much money, in my opinion, because they could easily give away half and still have, what, $50 billion, $70 billion, which is still unethical, in my opinion. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But Mexico, um, I think, is a beautiful country, but I'm honestly afraid of, like, all the crime from the cartels. I watch horror stories, and I don't know if, like, I would want to risk it just in case. You know, I don't want to be in one of those films where people get their limbs cut off. I'm not saying everyone is like that, Daniel. I'm just saying that I'm afraid of that violence that's there. Like, I don't know. That's just me. Well, Danielle, yeah, I'm a little bit afraid. Like, I would be afraid to travel to countries with, like, ISIS and stuff like that, for sure. But they, there's not that here, so. Same thing, yeah, I would be, <laughs> 100%. I think anybody would be a little apprehensive, you know? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Whoa, my face. Babe, it's the ghost of Salah. No, keep the light off, yeah. Babe, can I have some water? No. <laughs> okay. From the fridgey fridge. Is cold? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> Salah's ghost. <laughs> Hi, Yasmin. Oops. Salah is gin. Orderly? Yeah, that was my other bottle of water. Yeah, maybe. Meh. <laughs> 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 Turn one light off, maybe. Are you thirsty, too? Yeah. Enjoy eating. Thank you. <laughs> um, Grace, if you have like a medical reason you need to drink, you can. Hey, here. You want to hear the second most annoying sound in the world? Sure. <laughs> <You're fake. laughs> yeah, that's pretty annoying. No, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I have a question. Oh. Okay, um, are tourists allowed to eat during Ramadan in public? No way. Um, I think nobody uh, allowed to eat uh, in public. Oh, uh, okay. They can't eat, but in private. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Babe, what age do, do uh, children start fasting? After puberty? What? What age do children start fasting? Uh, it's like uh, from... Uh, puberty? From like 10. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow, young. The reaction channels are going to be going crazy about Salah not being in his own apartment. <laughs> Time to go home, babe. Pack your bags. <laughs> Can Salah come on camera? Okay, sweetheart. No. <laughs> what? She's in her cagey cage? Yeah. Okay. I got to go, guys, because uh, I got to do a grocery haul. <laughs> okay, I'll see you after. I'm going to do the haul, and then I'm going to do a Twitch stream. So I'll announce on my community post I'm going to do it, so stay tuned, okay? Thanks for being Thank you very much for everybody with your generosity, and I'll see you in the next stream. Wow, too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, work at an auction. Okay, guys, see you. Bye, bye. guys, bye. Masalama. Masalama.